Hey, happy happy, it's your boy Mr. CJ, you what to do back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to read your credit report. All right, I'm gonna tell you the things you need to look for so you can know how to get yourself in position for funding. Now, y'all know me, I always like to pull my credit report from Experian.com. Everybody should have an account with Experian because this is your real FICO credit score. This is your real profile. This is the stuff that the banks are actually looking at. So it's a lot of credit monitoring systems out there you can use. I prefer Experian.com and if you want to work with me, I'm going to actually see your Experian because this is the real deal. Alright, so when you sign in and make an account with Experian.com, where you want to click on once you sign in, you want to click on reports and scores. Okay? Now, I actually have this printed out, you know, in screenshot form on my website. If you want to take another look at it from a different angle, you can go to cjufunding.com. All right, cjufunding.com, that's the website. I send people when they want to get business funding from me. You can follow the instructions on that website, and I'm just listing it out here, right? So you go to experian.com, you click on reports and scores. And then after you click on reports and scores, you're going to click on credit reports, okay? Everybody has to know how to read their own credit report because if you can't read your own credit report, you're not going to know what you need to do to get yourself in a good position. So again, you can hire people like me, like coaching and consultants of credit that can teach you. But, you know, I want you to know how to do it yourself. I mean, we can show you what's on there, but, you know, I want to teach you to where you can know how to look at this yourself. So when you go to reports and scores, then I want you to go to credit reports. Once you pull that up, first thing you're going to see is your credit score. Then you're going to see your credit utilization, like how much debt you've been spending. It's going to show you all your total accounts and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to look at every account, every account everyone okay you want to look at every account that shows up once you go to credit reports and what you want to look for is okay is there anything in red okay this is very big because Experian color codes it so if you see any account that got any red marks any red marks, that mean like there need to be some type of credit repair going on. Because red marks going to either mean collections, it's going to mean late payments. You know, you'll be able to see it, all right? You'll be able to see those, remark those, those accounts in red. So you got to know, as soon as I see red, they're going to mean credit repair. I got to get something fixed, okay? You got to be able to see that. Now, once you see that, okay, some accounts are red, some not in red. You will find out what's in good standings or not. That's what you really want to look at, right? There's going to have, when you click on each account, it's going to tell you about status. So the status, make sure you look for that, and it's going to tell you good, or it's going to tell you, you know, like good, and it's going to say like never late, or it's going to tell you that this account has been late. So look for status when you're looking at the account on the credit profile. Another thing you want to look at is, this is very important too, date open. Okay, a lot of people don't pay attention to this. When you're looking at the accounts, you want to know what date the account was open. Why? Because the older, the older the account been open, the better. The better, right? Because if an account been open for two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, what is that showing to the other banks? Dang, this person been having credit for a long time. And especially if it's not been no late payments on those accounts, this is what makes the score really shoot up. Because this is about credit age. So every time you're looking at an account, make sure you pay attention to the date open. And the older the account, the better. The shorter the account, if it's only been open for one year, 
If it's only been open for six months, then the bank's going to be like, all right, this person haven't proved that they can handle debt for that loan, right? So the older, the, the better, all right? So these are like the main things you want to look at on open accounts because you also want to click. When you're looking at accounts, you want to look at any accounts that are closed, all right? So make sure you click on anything that says closed because you need to look at those too. Because when you're looking at closed accounts, you want to know two things. Is these closed accounts paid, like paid off? Or do you want to know if you want to know if these closed accounts are charged off, right? Because if it's a closed account, but it's paid off, that means it's still good, right? You don't need to repair it. You don't need to take it off. Let's say it's a closed auto loan that you paid off. You don't want to take that off the credit report because it's paid off and it, and it got good payment history. If it's a mortgage that's paid off, you don't want to take it off the credit report, even if it's credit cards. We don't like to close credit cards, especially if they owe. But if the credit card is closed and it's paid off, leave it alone. But if you click on a closed account and it's charged off, that means it got late payments on it. Right? That means it got late payments on it. And that means it's going to need some credit repair, right? Because when you look at it, when you look at each one of these accounts, what you're going to see is the years, and you're going to see dates, years and dates. And these dates are going to be listed in check marks if it's paid. Or it's going to be listed as 30, 60, 90 late payments. So when y'all looking at those accounts and y'all seeing those years down there and then you seeing all those dates on those years, like it's going to show the months. I should also say dates, I should say months. It's going to show you the months. It's going to show the years and it's going to show you the months. All right. So as you're looking at each month on each year on that account, you want to see if it's a check mark, that means it's been paid off each month, or you want to see, damn, it's got a 30 in red, that means late payment. If it got a 60 in red, that means it's been late for 60 days. If it got a 30, that means it's been late for 30 days. If it got a 90, that means it's been late for 90 days. And once you hit 90 days, it's getting ready to get charged off, right? So I'm going to recap everything I just said in this video because this is how I want you to read a credit profile on every single account when you're pulling up credit. So you can know how to get yourself funded or you can know how you need to move or if you want to help somebody. Number one, go to Experian.com, make an account. Click on reports and scores, go to credit reports, look at every single account. If you see any red on any account, that means it's going to need credit repair. Check the status, see if it's good, see if it's late. Make sure that you're checking a date open because you really want to see that. And if it's older, it gets better. Closed accounts, you want to see if it's paid, if it's charged off, or if it's late. And then you're going to look at that right there. Now, when my race it, I'm going to show you all the last part. I said a recap, but let me show you all this last part real quick, which is one of the most important. Y'all rewatch that. Once you find out all that about the accounts, you want to look at the last two most important things, the credit limit and then you want to also look at the balance and then which bank is with right because the credit limit y'all know the bigger the limit the better all right so big limits really start at 10k right but five is cool but let's just say 10K. So 10K plus. If they got a 10K or more, that's what that's a nice big limit. You know what I'm saying? Five mean you in the game. Anything less than five, that's a little limit. So five going to 10K plus, that's a good limit. All right. Balance, you always want to check on all the limits on people's credit cards. You want to know the balance, right? And you know you always want the balance to be reported down low, right? Because if it's a high balance on those credit limits, 
y'all know the credit score going to go down. So we want low balances. And then bank, here we want to know if it's with a major bank. We want to know if it's with a credit union or like a regional bank, right? Like a regional small bank. So this just means relationships, right? So once you see the big credit limit or small credit limit, you want to check the balances, and then you want to know which bank they with. If they with a major bank, major bank is like Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Amex, we know that's a major bank. Credit unions, we know like Navy Fed, Penn Fed, you know, stuff like that, DCU, you know, any credit union. And then regional banks is like PNC, U.S. Bank, regional banks. So you just want to find out who they got a relationship with, who you got a relationship with, or if you're looking at somebody else's credit, who they got a relationship with. All right, so these are all the things you want to look at when you're looking at a credit profile. And let me tell you guys something. It's very important that you learn this information because it can help your situation, but you really want to think about the kids. You want to think about the young people. Like, imagine if somebody was teaching you at 16 years old how to read your credit profile at 18 years old, at 19 years old, and you really understood how to build your credit profile at such a young age, man, by the time you're 21 years old, you 800 credit score can get you an apartment, you know, can get you a car, can get things in your name, can get you some credit cards to start making moves. So, like, if you didn't have that opportunity but you got children or you got nieces or you got nephews, like, this information is so important, learning how to read a credit profile, because you can help the youth, man, and you can have all these young people around you walk around with 700 plus, close to 800 credit scores at such a young age, which can impact their entire future as an adult, right? Because these people, these young people be going into their 30s with 20, you know, year credit history if they building it right out of high school. And that can make the world a difference when they're ready to invest in themselves and start a business. They'll be able to get business credit because they'll have long history of personal credit because they, stood, they understood this information and knew how to build it from scratch. All right? So rewatch this video. You know, take it piece by piece. I'm going to have a link in the description, man. I'm going to put together like a mini master course to go over a lot of requirements and stuff you need for your personal credit for profile and everything you need to know, but this video specific with just the things you need to look at when you're looking to read it. And if you go to Experian.com, you can scour through all the accounts and just follow the information I gave in this video. Stay tuned to my next videos. I'm gonna break down some more information. Y'all already know it's your boy, Mr. CJU. Have a hap.